Hello guys, Zuljan here and welcome to the first episode in my coverage of Songbringer. This is a Zelda roguelike game that came up on my radar a little while back. I looked into it and I decided that I wanted to give it a chance and it is a really, really cool game. A friend of mine, Nagark, is also playing it and uh, just from the looks of it from a few of his videos, I really think I wanted to play it. The kind of description of it says explore 308 million procedurally generated Zelda-like worlds, awaken the face of dormant evil, uncover technology and create powerful artifacts. Those skilled with the nano sword will crush giants and check galactic war. Coming 2016 for PC, Mac, Linux and iOS. So I hope the volume's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start a well. Let's check settings now. I can bring music volume down. That is probably going to be pretty good. Let's go with six. That should be okay. The sounds are really, really cool in this game. So <laughs> let's go back and we'll select new, and we'll go. We'll go regular. And of course, my name is going to. Can I? Can I put Z U E L J I? No, I won't have enough. Uh, this is the world seed. So basically. The worlds are randomly generated based on seed, kind of like you'd see a lot of other games that are randomly generated. Uh, so we are going to put Z S Q U A D. Yeah, we can do that. Z Squad is going to be our seed. If I can actually spell it, A D Z Squad. All right, here we go. So the game says that beta will be available the February 21st. As far as the actual full game, not really sure when that's going to release. But I got it early because I reached out to the devs and they were cool enough to give me a key. Alright. If only you were wrong sometimes, my little friend. So it's pixel art, as you can tell. Smith is going to be livid. I crashed another bike. What? What? Where? What? Apparently we can't understand our little friend. Right, I knew that. Well, we he can, but we can't. Alright, so it looks like you can move... I'm using the Xbox controller. And with the D-pad, you can move up, down, left, right, diagonal. Uh, no buttons yet, but it looks like at the bottom screen there, we have a few different things. Courage, which I guess is our life. A, B, X, and Y are going to be, I guess, our hotkeys or activities. And it looks like there's some consumables on the left along with a mini-map. Mm -hmm. If I press start, it goes to the save and continue screen. And if I press select, it's actually like the sub-screen. So this is very Zelda-esque. Super Zelda-esque. Mm -hmm. But I'm really, really excited. I don't know about y'all, but I loved Zelda. Let's go in here because it's ominously lit with fire. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, somebody left a perfectly good looking sword here. <laughs> wow. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Wow, what a sword, huh? Okay. <laughs> Celebrations are in order, I suppose. Oh, cool! Listen to the sound effects. It's crazy. Okay, this nano sword hums. All right, very cool. Uh oh, the door just closed on us. There's gonna be a thing to fight. Uh, okay, it's the A button to swing. So yeah, I just took two hits of damage, and it looks like my um my courage went down a couple of hits. Wow. That exploded violently. Okay, I did get some courage back. So it looks like when the debris clears, you see they have a couple of... It's kind of hard to see with the debris, but there's some courage and there's also some gemstones. It looks That looks like a diamond at least, kind of. So I got four diamonds and I got uh, all my hearts back. Cool. I'm going to call them hearts probably. Oh, what is this? You... Or a cutie patootie, aren't you? Okay, so I got a nano sword. Oh, it sounds like a lightsaber. That's really cool. Okay, which ways can we go here? Let's go right. So again, this is all procedurally generated. Oh, is it thorn bushes? Oh, I could chop right through them. 
Sweet. I love the music. What are these things? Like some elephants? Oh, wow. It's a little bit hard to get used to. It's, it seems like there's a small delay on the controls. I'll have to just make sure to position myself right. Looks like I unlocked the gemstone by defeating all the enemies. That's cool. And you see how at the bottom left, my minimap is updating. So if I take a look at it, you'll see, ah, on the, the map is big. Okay, so I don't know what the, the symbols stand for yet, but I guess H is home. Maybe that's where you spawn in at. Or, I mean, that is where I spawned in at, but maybe that's what it stands for. All right, let's go a little bit further here. Red balls of death. What? <laughs> oh, okay, so my little... This is my Skybot, I think they call it. And it looks like it can take some stuff here and there. And kind of... Uh, can I chop these bushes? No. It looks like it can extract some sort of resources from monsters that I kill. I do love the sound effects. It's so retro arcade -y. It's very cool. Hey, you got a little a little courage for me? Cool. I don't move very fast yet. I wonder what kind of items that you get. I know there's no levels or XP in this game. So you're pretty much limited to the um, the type of loot that you find. Oh, we got a few few coins there. All right, this is a dead end. And it's nighttime now. I wonder what happens at night. Anything special? So you can see it's a Metroid style map. Well, a Zelda style map. I guess it's it's <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the Binding of Isaac because that's what I see lately. But so we can go up from here. You can see on the minimap a little bit like the directions you can go. So see right here on the minimap, I can see if you guys can't see that well, it shows that there are entrances to this room on the left and the right. We'll just call it a room for, for, for um, I guess, for continuity's sake, so you guys can, can see. All right. Uh, whoa, kind of creepy. Uh, what are you talking about, Skybot? We're going to I don't know what to call Skybot. I have no idea. We can call him Lil Z. Lil Z sounds like technologically adequate for a pet name, right? Because Z's kind of, you know, it's one of those obscure letters. Ouch! I didn't even see that red ball. Lil Z, why didn't you tell me about it? You didn't even tell me that there was a red ball coming. Okay. Is this a thing? No, this is just like some sort of green mess. I can go up here. Uh-huh. You see, I would have never noticed that. Just the way that I'm not familiar with the way the levels look and the layouts and stuff. I can go left here. Oh, there's a tentacle. It's hentai tentacles. All right, I'm hurting here. And there's a red ball that I was going to miss here. Okay, Lil Z, it's very important that you do your magic and you get me one of them courages, man. You hear that beeping, Lil Z? That means I'm dying. I am dying. I'm glad I didn't do permadeath. Okay, there's tentacles. I see him. Hentai tentacles. They hit, um... They hit Lil Z. Do you take damage, Z? There is sure a lot of these things. And they are very hard to kill, apparently. Okay, I got two of them. What about, um... What about health? I need courage. Okay. I can't go any further in. I was hoping to get, like, some courage from that, but... Oh, there's still something down there. Lil C is fighting it. Yeah, there's definitely no way out this level. Okay, I got something. More money. Okay. It didn't hurt to come through here. I didn't lose any more health. All right, now how do we get safe here? There is a red ball right here. Did you get anything? Nope. Scanned it and got nothing. Okay. 
Maybe I can go... Before I go up, I'm gonna go to the right right here. A couple of red balls. <laughs> you sure do smack the heck out of them with the sword. I need some medicine or something. Remember in Zelda, the red medicine and the blue medicine? Okay, gemstone. Oh, I got courage. Thank you. The beeping has stopped. Okay. So, I wonder how you get power-ups and stuff. Like, what exactly? Uh-oh. What? He threw something at me. Get him, Lil Z. Even though I don't think you could do anything. What if I get him into a corner? He's dead. Wow, he like blew up too. What? A top hat drone. Throw the top hat. Picks up items, returns like a boomerang. Aha! We got a boomerang. And apparently you can use the... I uh, guess there's no such thing as a free sword. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so X, aha, it is like a little boomerang. So if there's something we can't reach, we can, we can boomerang it. Is that a thing that I could attack? No, it's not. But that's still, uh, he's just, the, the corpse is just going to lay right there, huh? Oh, I hit, I can hit him through the trees with this thing. Well, that's reassuring. Alright, well, I can't reach all of these guys. So I'm just gonna go to the next. So, what is this? I mean, obviously, it's a fence of some sort that I can't get through, but. Um. Let's go a little bit southeast. More porcupines. Eat top hat, porcupine. How. I wonder how hard this thing hits. Let's test it. It doesn't stun him like the boomerang would in Zelda. I suppose we can't have infinite power. Okay, but it does do damage. It definitely does damage. So I can't attack I can't kill stuff with range on this. Here's some more money. Uh-huh. I wonder what you can buy with all this money. Okay, you, we can go down here, which I think we should do. Uh-oh. The gate's closed on us. Ouch! Wait! Wait, let's talk about this! Okay, he's dead. Wow, and he busted into a million pieces. We got something else. Biodetector detects large bioenergetic sources and locates them on the map. B to use. Okay. Uh, we're full on courage again now. All right, I just used the biodetector. Uh, I don't know what that did. <laughs> I have no idea what that did. So, do we have multiple ones like that? No. So we used it as an item and it's no longer there. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, I, I didn't think it would have been like a consumable. But I guess it was. Gotta watch his little spines that he's throwing out. All right, did we get another bio detector? A cactus. It looks delicious. B to use. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, apparently B is the consumable item slot, or a consumable item spot slot. I guess you could put multiple things in here. There's a shadow. I mean, a statue. Why did I say a shadow? I'm not real sure. Ooh, what is this? I can't get through though. There's like a wall there. I wonder if it's like levels. Like, you remember how Zelda had levels? 
What is this? What? What just happened? Save? Oh, it's a save spot. <laughs> Look at the disc on the top right. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so to the right, there's definitely a spot marked. Like, it's definitely marked. You just can't get through. Okay, so apparently I have to get something to unlock that or find another way around to it, which based on the map, I don't know if it's possible. We can go to the right right here, so I guess we should try to do that. Uh, there's two levels here? How is... Really? Okay, so I can't go to neither of these. There's another one, maybe, to the top right here. Are all of these things kind of lined up? No. Okay, can I go down here? No, there's no way to go down. Alright, and I'm judging from that from the maps. Unless there's some sort of like way that you can get through you know like a bomb or something which in a game like a Zelda like game there has to be the ability to bomb stuff alright this is another place that we can't get through let's go more to the left a little bit more red balls yeah pull out that nano sword and lightsaber them. so satisfying killing things with this I want to kill everything on the board because it gives me it can possibly give me some goods and I just have to wait for the red ball to come back okay when it does we're gonna smack it oh no come back here red ball why is my uh my little skybot friend Oh, I got stuck. Dang it. Okay, maybe now. Okay, I hit it. Is it going to get mad? Is it going to aggro? No. To heck with that red ball. We'll finish with it. Ouch. I didn't even see him. Oh, another thing. This thing pierces. So if there's multiple enemies, it can, uh, it can kind of help out. It's kind of hard to aim, too. Okay. Should be only a couple. Ouch! Should be only one more. Courage is still good, though. Like, we're still really, really good with courage. Lil Z, what exactly are you trying to do, boo? You just, like, hovering around? Are you smelling them or something? Are you a dog? Are you a dog in a robot disguise, Lil Z? Okay, all of these are red balls. I'm not interested. Not interested. I do love the lighting and stuff. Really fun graphics. Ouch! Let me get in there. Okay. Ouch. Okay, we got something. What is that? Some sort of consumable item. Okay, we got another one of those things for health, I guess. What about this? There's some money. Alright, I got 69 bucks. Can I find a place to spend it? Can I go here? The bridge is gonna... Oh. Oh, I'm hurting now. Great. Nobody ever said I was good at this game, guys. I could possibly take my my medicine. Or the thing that said it looks delicious or whatever. But I might get some hearts. That's what I'm thinking. Dang it. I want to give him the chance to come back here because if something else drops, I'd like to get it. Why do you even put up your sword, dude? Is it that much to carry it? Alright, there's nothing. I got nothing. And it's another level that I can't reach. Okay. Well, 
everything that I've found so far, I can't access. <laughs> maybe I just, maybe I went the wrong, maybe it's in some sort of sequential order you gotta take care of them. Maybe there's items that you get in those specific places that allows you to unlock things, kind of like keys or whatever, you know? <laughs> Imagine that, an item that allows you to unlock something is called a key. Sometimes I don't even know what I say, you guys. Sometimes I just I'm just talking. These guys are pretty easy to figure out once you know what they're doing. Which luckily, okay, there's some courage. There we go. We're up to one and a half now. Okay. We do have the option to go up. There is another place that we can't access. To the left here. Oh wow. These are new. I'll take whatever you are. You were a dollar. Or a diamond. There's another courage bore. I'll take you. We can go down here. Oh, that's unfair and sneaky. Very unfair and sneaky. Ouch! This really hurts. Okay, what is this? Is that a well of some sort? I can't go in it. It looks like more of a decoration than anything because... It doesn't show anything on the map where it was at. There is something red to the left. What is that? One more to the left. How do I get there? Okay, I must get there. I must. The red beacon. Maybe that that's a high-end energy signature that we got from using... What are these? Can I hit these? No. They're just like floating balls. Just so they aren't floating balls of death. Okay. I can't go left here? Okay, I'll go left here. <gasps> I can go up here. It's something. Something is here. This is special. Oh my. Oh! We went down. Alright. We are in some sort of dungeon, you guys. We're in some sort of level one. Aha! I was right. Sequential order. So. We're gonna have to wait until next episode to do this, you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the first episode of Songbringer. If you did, don't forget to give me some tap on that like button and show your support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. And I'll tell you what, this is incredible, man. Oh! <laughs> and it just kind of gets back up. If you press down, it does the same thing again. <laughs>